so we are at Epcot again, but this time for the Wine and Food Fest. We've got a couple of fast passes and we have a wine tasting schedule, so that is going to be fun. So come along. Super cute, super cute. So my first purchase of the day are these fabulous mini glasses because I left my glasses in the lift on the way here. But, so now I have a souvenir. We're in the spaceship Earth. We got our official food and wine. Festival Passport. This is pretty cool. It has the different places you go and then the stickers that you put on everything. Get yourself a gift card. You can wear this around your wrist all day and that way you don't have to dig it for your wallet every time you want to taste a food sample or uh, a beverage. Our first food stop of the day is the Almond Orchard. I'm not sure what I'm going to get. I'm thinking maybe the hummus. First taste of the day is a whole chicken artichoke spinach dip and a bottle of water. It was the shortest line. All right, so wine and dine. And I got some scallops and my first cocktail of the day, which is a rosé Pinot Noir. All right, first scallop. Mmm, that's really good. Cheers. Ooh, I've never had a Pinot Noir rosé. It's quite good. Okay, for the cheese studio, they've given me three different bites with different cheeses on them. Salmon. I'm giving that to my brother because I'm not a big fan of salmon cooked that way. The pastry was really good, and now I'm going to try this one. This one's like desserty. It's like got strawberry in it and some cheese, and it's actually really, really good. Mm. I've had the Cider Boys before and an apple cinnamon, but today I'm going to try the Zen Berry with boysenberry in it. Okay, this is from Wisconsin. My friend Michelle's from Wisconsin and turned me on to this company. That's very good. I recommend Cider Boys. Center next to get our pass holder stuff and for our wine tasting pass holder you can get a special Mickey chef hat magnet I keep these on my refrigerator because they don't stick on the back of my car we are at a wine tasting and it's imagery is the wines that we'll be tasting and it looks like there's two reds and a white I'll turn the camera I don't know which ones they are yet but we will be finding out soon One of the lightest Chardonnays I've tasted, a little bit of vanilla. The extravaganza is in India. I would like to try the Korma chicken and the recommended pairing of the Chenin Blanc. And there's the wine. And then my brother got a cream Indian. I don't love Indian food, and so does my brother. My husband does not. This is so good. It's got definitely a kick to it, but it's really good. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So that is where they will do the fireworks tonight. They're taking that out into the middle of the lake. And what they did is in order to do that, they locked off this bridge to us going from China over to Africa. And you'll see they're gonna probably reopen it because the barges had to go underneath. That's so cool. <laughs> So 
what the back of Italy, there used to be a pizza window and then they closed it and now they reopened it. And so we just ordered a piece of pizza from the pizza window. The best pizza and the slices are huge. Looks like a fabulous pizza. And Chianti. And Daiko. Grapefruit beer. And in China, get Chinese dumplings. Hello. I like your normal hugs too. Yeah. I'm a line for frozen. One of the last ones of the night, but I do recommend getting a fast pass for this one. We were going to end our day at Trader Sam's, except the wait is two hours long and we're exhausted. So we're just gonna look around the gift shop instead and then we're gonna call it a night. It's been a really fun day. I highly recommend going to the Epcot Food and Wine Fest. It's going on until November the 12th. The 10th is the last weekend. Thank you for tuning to the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up so I'm higher up in the feeds. And I'll see you next time. Bye.